We're back. We're back. We're doing more. We always say this, so we're back. We, I don't think we ever leave. We're back. Oh, I wish that were the case. See, back would imply that we left and then I, we came back. I would like to spend most of my time at the murder table That's and true. not at my desk. I don't but blame you. Neither would I. Unfortunately, the murder table does not pay as well as work. No, it doesn't. Work. But. Not at all. But. We do get drinks paid. drinks are better. We do get paid in beverages. We do. We get liquid currency. So, today we're, we're very liquid. From our fine friends at the El Guapo Company. El Guapo. They're out of New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Is it New Which, Orleans? Is it New Orleans? Is it I, Nola? I, I, I don't know. I watch NCIS. You've and been they, they call it Aren't Nola. you just recently? I was there, there last February. My, my uh, Matthew uh, married, married a lovely girl from down that way. Nice. Did the uh, the tour. A lot of a lot of po' boys. Tried mm. them all. I have to say the food down there was fantastic. I, I do think the, the favorite was the shrimp. Mm. And the, uh, the beignets are... Oh, you know the beignets live up to the height. They are a whole different sort of thing. Uh, you know, you hear about. You went? Did you go to Cafe Du Monde? We went to Cafe Du Monde, and the line was just around the block. So okay. we went across the street. Huh. And afterwards, when we went back to the hotel, the hotel was like, "Yeah, Cafe Du Monde, very good, but very touristy. Mm -hmm. Go across the street." And we went across the street. It's got uh, much, much better there. They'll, they'll seat you right away. Roll was it for you. was it that the beignets were better, or is it just better that you were actually able to get a beignet? I, I think the beignets are very similar. I mean, okay. how different is a fried? It's a fried donut with a lot of sugar. Donut with sugar, um, but we were able to see it right away. And the shrimp po' boy there was probably the best po' boy we had all time. Mm, sounds delightful. I like New Orleans. I like the food. I like to go back. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about El Guapo. So El Guapo, there we're, we have some bitters, which we're we have. Try. We have two bitters. And by we have a syrup. a syrup. So we'll try them by themselves, just to get an appreciation for the flavor. And then you have some cocktails in mind, do you? I do. One is on the label. One is on the bottle of, is it Orgeet? Orgeet? Orgeet. It's Creole Orgeet Spiced Pecan Syrup. So the cocktail we're going to try is the King Cake Old Fashioned. Two parts bourbon or aged rum, half part Creole Orgeet, six dashes of El Guapo Chicory and Pecan Bitters, which we just happen to have uh, handy. right here, yep. right there. Uh, cinnamon sticks, which I have, and orange. So we've got everything to make these drinks. And the second drink I want to try is something I think hopefully will be like what we had at um, Central, Taco. Central Taco and Tequila in Westmont, which was a um, what was it? a mezcal old fashioned, made with chocolate bitters. So I want to try that out. So anyway, let's get. We got a bottle of mezcal. So. Yes, we do. We have the you can pachuca. See what's going on. Is it the pachuca? El, El Del Magüe. Del Magüe. Del Magüe. From our good friend Miracle Max. So what should we try first? Do you want to try the? You want to try the bitters first? Well, let's try the bitters first. Let's let's work bitters. our way from bitter to, to sweet. We'll try the bitters. Let's and, and see then kind of how bitter the bitters are. There's there's lovely wax in these bottles. Now normally you put a couple of dashes. I think we'll just try a couple drops into these, right? Yeah. So it's not usually something you would drink by itself. Cheers. Uh, I think. Yeah, this is the this is the chicory chicory pecan bitters. Ooh. I don't think we can get it. But we can get the smell. Well that's a big coffee note. Well I think that's the chicory, yeah. right? Like yeah. as in like the yeah. Cafe du Monde coffee, yeah. which is brewed with chicory. Put your finger in the glass just to get a taste of it. It actually tastes pretty good. It's not really super bitter. You get a little coffee. It's it's just, it's really nice. I'm not a coffee fan. Um, but it's yeah. not something I would really want by itself. But it's it uh, pretty good. It's not really too bad at all. It's not no. as bitter as I thought it was going to be. Not at and all. It, and it's a, a good bit of flavor involved, which is nice. nice. Which I guess is why you put a couple drops in it. You put more than a couple drops. The smell is fantastic. Too much. It and, smells like a really nice brewed cup of coffee. Um, and I'm wondering if that you know couple drops is what turns a cocktail into a great cocktail. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the, the whole point of the bitters is just to kind of like a almost like a course correction. You know, like if you're making tomato sauce and yep. you put a little pinch of sugar yep. just to get rid of that bitterness, it, just, bitterness. it adds a little balance. I usually get people throwing sugar at me, apparently. Sugar? I'm hoping to get rid of my bitterness. Oh, at least they throw sugar at you. Well, bricks. Whatever. Oh, well, at least you get sugar. It could be worse. God knows what they throw at me. Well, that smells really good. Almost makes me want to try coffee now with a little bit of chicory. It does. So, okay, we're going to try the other one. I'm going to, I'm going to open up the other one right now, the spiced cocoa tea bitters. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of that. Now, what are, this is cocoa tea? Is that what this it is? This is cocoa tea. That is a decidedly different smell to it, right? 
So from their, uh, I can almost, I can sort of their, get a tea from it, right? From their, uh, their, their notes, it's, uh, it captures the flavor of like the mole sauce. Mm. Get a little of that, mm. that nose to it. Uh, it's, it's, it smells sweet. Mm -hmm. Do they say what kind of tea it is? No, no. Uh, not what it's in front of me now. Because it almost has like a, like a cinnamony chai kind of smell, like an Indian tea. If that makes any sense. Have you ever had a chai? I have had a chai tea. Yeah. You, you know, the West Coast office is a big fan of the chai. Well, he's a chai kind of guy. He's a chai kind of guy. Actually, we, we've got a new, ha we got a new uh, handle for him. Chai Hound. <laughs> chai Hound. As opposed to Chow Hound. Yeah. Which is a really good website. Which was my handle for a while. Chow Hound? <laughs> chow Because we like to chow. Chow Hound. And that was uh, Sir Buffet. <laughs> oh, Sir Buffet. <laughs> so, You're too big. Uh, the, the <laughs> my, you've gotten fat. <laughs> So it, it seems as if uh, that smells really nice. The, the notes you have here are about uh, naturally and uh, traditionally grown, fermented, dried, stone ground cacao and spices from Saint Lucia. Local produce from New Orleans. Hmm. Yeah. It's aged in a whis whiskey barrel. While you're talking, I'm gonna open up the. Uh, and then the, the, the chocolate orchards. notes come through with some spices, a little oaky Absolutely. whiskey. Like, and a little like, bit of maybe cayenne pepper is what they're suggesting you should get out ooh, of this. Oh boy, this one's funky. The 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 orgy that's got a, that's got a smell to it. I want to rinse your glasses? And that, yeah, I'm just tasting it now. That, uh, so this is going to be the orgy syrup. That was good. Yeah, pour yourself some. Oh, that's got a, that's got a, that's got a smell to it. I mean, it's it's cool. It smells really good. But is it is it clove? Is it like that's interesting? That is really neat. This is which is this the this is the uh, what's it called? The chicory pecan syrup? Is that what that is? No, this is the yeah, spiced spiced pecan syrup. Spiced pecan. I'm sorry, spiced pecan syrup. Spiced pecan syrup. There is a definite spice, but I don't know what it is. It, it almost smells like clove. Like really, really heavy. I don't get the, the uh, a nutty note out of it. No, yeah, that's more in the all. flavor, but it, it almost that that clovish, if that's what it is, hmm. it's almost uh, overwhelming. Yeah, but taste really, yeah, but it, you know it, it smells a bit like Christmas. Mm. Taste it though. The taste is really good. Come Can on. I nose it first? No, I'm sorry, are we rushing ahead? Yes. No, maybe. Mm. Not that you would ever drink the bitters or the syrup, no, but the taste by really themselves. Good. The flavors of all three of these are very good. Was this the one that they're described as effervescent? Yes, this was uh, effervescent. You know, with I, uh, orange and rose is what their notes say. You know what? I kind of get it though because it almost has like a, it just kind of like not fizzy, but it's like a fizzy flavor. Is that possible? Sure. I don't know. Am I crazy? Am I out of my mind? Have I lost Again, it? Again, that's not really where we're headed right now. This oh. is not a Doctor Phil <laughs> where we have someone come in to, to treat or recommend treatment. No. Um, what we have here is. Uh, By the way, you know what you know what my prescription is. Drink more. You drink more. You're not you're not doing enough. No. I don't notice the nut the uh, the, the nut the pecan notes in this. No, I don't either. But but the uh, the cane sugar and a lot of the um, the syrupy the the uh, huh? floral notes maybe. I thought that was pretty That's delicious. Good. That's good. I would be afraid that that would be almost too much in the cocktail. Yeah, but that's what so you got to be careful. You got to be really careful, I guess, when you put in how much. You got to measure your amounts. I'm, I'm measuring. You know me. But I could certainly see that's the king cake, right? Yes. I could certainly see that being a great like cake flavor to it. I think so. Certainly. All right. Shall we move on? We should move on. Let's do it. Let's try the cocktail. Let's cocktail. Let's cocktail. That was quick. That wasn't too bad. That was quick. Well, that's the beauty of a time lapse. It makes everybody look like a pro. Exactly. So, one little correction here. I called it Orjit, and the pro correct pronunciation is... Orzat. 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 This or that. Was, this is according to who? Marion Webster. Oh, what the hell and is he And those Webster doing? folks, they don't mess around. Last time I checked, he's not alive anymore. They don't mess around. So, what did we make? We made the King the Cake, cake. Old-Fashioned, which is... It is, again, two parts bourbon or aged rum. We went with... Once again, the Larceny, because that's what I had. Half part of Creole Orgeat. Oh, I'm or sorry, Orzat. Sorry. Six dashes of Guapo Chicory Pecan Bitters. And then I garnished with a lovely little cinnamon stick, which I bought just for this occasion, and the orange twist. So let, without further ado, let's go in. 
sir. Chin Cheers. Chin. Oh, that Ooh, smells nice. Smells very orangey. You know, that's pretty good. Well, that's terrible. That's not a bad that's drink. That's just terrible. Here, let me let me have yours. <laughs> I don't want you to have to drink that anymore. I'll just drink both. I'll take one for the team. Come you on. You know where you are. Come on. You're a big hearted slob. But I well emphasis on the <laughs> the big emphasis heart. on the the big heart might be <laughs> a more enlarged heart and uh, slob certainly. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm. That's really nice. And this is the problem with cocktails. They go down really they easy. They go down a little too fast. They go down um, really easy. I like the larceny, larceny a lot. Uh, this is a weedy bourbon. Yes. And it's uh, 46%. Correct. 92 proof. So it's got a little bit of a, a, a kick to it. I guess if you used something that was uh, a rye bourbon, mm -hmm. it would probably have a little bit more bite to it. Maybe. Um, Potentially. But this certainly works. Mm -hmm. I think this is really good. Um, the the Orzat is... No, I like the Orzat on its own. That yeah, was it's, delicious. It's, it's not overpowering it seems no. to complement the 46 percent tone it down a little bit so it's not so mm -hmm. oozy it's not so much alcohol yeah honestly though the only thing is i i can't really tell the difference yeah. with, the, with the with the um chicory and i'm not getting the cinnamon stick this. no not really but but it's it's a it's a fine cocktail and this it's is pretty a little, it's a fine cocktail it's kind of pretty we got some fresh orange peel fine cocktail so that that's that's pretty good i like that a lot and i like old fashions i mean it no. is the original cocktail after the Manhattan, I go old fashioned. Mm. I think you go old fashioned, and then maybe Negronis. Yeah, you know? I, th I like. I think I like old fashioned better than Manhattan. But, but I, I don't really know. like that. I do. I like this. That's this really is, good. This is good. It's a good cocktail. Again, I don't get a lot of the cinnamon. I get I, maybe a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of like tingle going on there. Yeah, maybe the cinnamon stick has been a little bit longer. Right. Maybe there's more agitation, some stirring involved. You're agitated again. Uh, constant, You're always agitated, so that you get a little more out of it. But mm -hmm. um, it's it's awfully good. And, and you know what? This, I think, would be, if we could learn how to slow our roll and just kind of relax a little bit, I imagine that would be really, really nice just kind of let it sit and let it melt a little bit. So if you made a pitcher of these in the morning and then we came home uh -huh. or <laughs> just drank something else all day and then hit these. Sure. Is that where we're headed? Maybe. No, what I mean is, like, if, you're, if you take your time with the cocktail and just let the ice do its work a little bit. Now the big cube's going to slow. It's going to slowly melt, more so than like little tiny cubes. But I think it, the water will just kind of mellow it out, and with the sugar, it'll all kind of come together a little better. I can certainly see that. Mm -hmm. I, I really didn't get that this wasn't together. Um, I didn't get the the, uh, the the pecan bitters at all. Or pecan. Well, bitters. it wasn't a lot. Um, I mean, it was like a dozen dashes. But it's it's a. Uh, the Orzat is really a nice complement to the, the Larceny. I agree. It's, it's a very nice cocktail. It really mm -hmm. is. It really is. Mm. Kind of makes All me right. wonder what else we can put it in. Well, we could do, I'm sure we could figure something out. Yeah. But, but for now, let's move on to the other one. We shall. Okay. Cheers. We'll be right back. I gotta say, this time elapse thing. <laughs> Really cool. You like the time lapse It thing? makes it seem like we never left the murder table. I know. It's amazing. I mean, I can do five minutes and it takes 30 seconds. It's a beautiful thing. So we, uh, we're going... Cocktail going number two. Cocktail number two. We have a bottle of mezcal, courtesy <laughs> of our good friend Miracle Max. Yes. Who I was generous in hosting at one point, and he decided to repay me with a bottle of mezcal. Could You're not a very fan. good bottle of mezcal. I don't know anything about mezcal. Mm. I was a little surprised. That's where he went, but... I'm not going to look a gift bottle of Moscow in the, in the face. Oh, so, I think you are. I think you just did. So, well, well as long as you, you had a cocktail, we're all good. Okay. And then we're going to clooney it up with Georgie's Casamigos. Casamigo. Casamigos. Which he's cashed out of completely or uh, still has a percentage I think he's of? got a hand in it. Still has a hand in it? I think he's got a hand in it. It was 700 million plus 300 million. And it makes it may hate him more because he somehow picked up a billion dollars just making him kill. Well, he didn't make it. I hate him. He contracted it. Hate him. I know. Hate him. Okay. So what we did, there was a drink again back to Central Taco and Tequila. It was the Oaxacan Old Fashioned. And it was tequila, mezcal, uh, cocoa bitters. Uh, what was the other thing? Uh, simple syrup. Uh, well, they didn't use simple syrup. They used the other stuff. The agave. 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 And another kind of bitter. Was it an orange? It wasn't an orange bitters. It was old-fashioned, old fashioned whatever that is. So what I decided to try to do was an ounce of, of an ounce of Del Magway, 
an ounce of the Casamigos, and then a half an ounce of this Demerara, or was it Turbinado? Turbinado, Turbinado Sugar Simple Syrup, which I use with the sugar in the raw. Uh, eight dashes of, four dashes of this, I should say, and two dashes of Angostura Orange Bitters, and an orange peel. So, shall we just go in? Now that I know what's in it, let's give it a try. Cheers. Salud. Smells oh, good. That smells, smells very good. orangey. That smells nice. Now I really like that that cocktail that at, nice. as, um, at Central Taco and Tequila because I really like the way the chocolate bitters came through at the very end. I don't know if it's going to come through like this, but we're going to try. I'm just nosing the orange at this point. Oh, you know I gotta say, I kind of like it. Oh, there's a lot going on with that cocktail. Do we like it? What do you think? I mean, I know you uh, you get the tequila. That's that the smoky note mm-hmm. from the mezcal, from mm-hmm. the bitters, from... I'm guessing it's the, the mezcal. Mezcal is us. Yeah. How is mezcal different from tequila? So is it like the bourbon is bourbon, Kentucky bourbon is in Kentucky? Is that how tequila I think it's and like, mezcal work? Or I think is mezcal got a different flavor I, to I, it all I around? I think it's tequila is mezcal, but mezcal isn't tequila. It's tequila. Okay. How about that? It's like, you know, bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey isn't bourbon. Same kind of relationship, I guess. I, I wish I knew more, but I don't. I'm just liking this. All cocktail. I know is that I've had mezcal a couple times, and I really like it. So, what do you like about? It? It's got a little more smokiness to it, a little more the, earthy, the, maybe the, than tequila. The, the flavor, the yeah. I think. So. I mean, I like tequila also, so I mean, I can't say. This is a uh, is a horse of a different color. I thought the old fashioned might be the best cocktail you've made. Mm. Now I'm thinking that this might be. I, I like it. I think it's really And I good. only say this so you keep making me cocktails because in my house I don't have these ingredients. Well, you know, I got a lot of booze and I really like okay. to drink it. And I've got nothing to go with the booze. I just had the booze. Okay, well, that's fine. We can collaborate. You bring the booze, we'll bring the cocktails and we're good. But yeah, I like this. I think it's really good. And I, I think the cocktail, the bitters actually come out a little bit. You get a little bit of chocolate. I do. I get the chocolate. A little bit of cocoa. You, you get the smokiness. You get the sweetness, mm. you get a little bit of cocoa, and the orange peel kicks it off. I'm not getting the other bitters, though. That's no, much. I'm not getting them at all, either. I get a little bit of the orange peel. Now, you had a question whether to use those or the orange bitters. Yeah, well, this is the orange bitters. This is the regular uh, the, 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 the Angus Stores. And we went with the orange bitters. And I wonder if we went with the other ones, if that would have given it maybe not as much sweetness. I don't know. It, but you know what? Have... To be honest, this works for me right now. Oh, yeah. So. This is really good. I like I'm it. wondering if we, picked, if we chose the other way, if we would have killed the cocktail. This so, we're, we're going long here. I think we're, by the time we add all three videos and all that, we're looking at like 20 minutes. So, in summation, I have to say that I really like this El Guapo stuff. The, the Orzat was delicious. And I drink it, it by itself. I, I, yeah. liked it, I liked it on its own. I could see like that with just a little bit of whiskey yeah, and just cutting it. Just having yeah. it on its own. That was a fantastic old fashioned. This works really well, also. My only complaint, though, is is with the with the shaker because it doesn't come out as freely as this stuff. But I'm thinking this may have a little bit more viscosity to it. That could be the case, or maybe we just um, maybe need to pull the stopper out, clean it, and put it back in again. Maybe maybe, the, maybe maybe there's a little residue on it. That, that's the only complaint is really just the functionality yeah. of the stopper. But I think it's also like when this came out, it was more like almost like it was like you know what do you want to call it like an infused vodka kind of thing with bitters. This has a little bit more. It seems to have a little more texture to it. And and this one came out a little faster than the than the, right, the, than the uh, other one. Than the, the other one, um, which is good. The other one, I think, it was a little too thick, maybe. But it's very good. Good cocktail. Seriously, flavor wise, I'm liking El Guapo. Good cocktail. I'm liking El Guapo, and it's from New Orleans. So how could you go wrong? I think they know what they're doing. Very good. Very so, good. Cheers yeah. to New Orleans. Cheers to El Guapo. And cheers to you. And. and Thanks to our friends at Aguapa for sending it along. Yes, thank you. Very good.